May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans 15, 13. The ministries that have gone out from this place are amazing and have impacted our community and our world. In order to continue that impact, we have to consider the fact that we are outgrowing our base of operations faster than we expected. After just a few short months, we had to knock out a wall to create more nursery space and gladly park down the street to avoid parking lot wars. The master plan outlined in 2011 predicted we would need to expand in 2020, and we're way ahead of these projections. Based on this astonishing progress, we will need to increase our facilities in the 2018 time frame. We praise God for the success that we have had and ask His guidance as we strive to do even more. As we proceed into the future, we dream of being a community center in which a church happens to meet. Our desire is to create a place that impacts the lives of our neighbors, not only on Sunday, but also every other day of the week. And as we move to the next stages in our master plan, our current facility and projected buildings to the east and west along League City Parkway will house strategic partners who share the values of our church in ministries that serve the needs of our community. These might include a daycare, nonprofit organizations, after school programs, or a coffee shop. Our campus will also include a larger worship center and fellowship space, as well as an athletic field. So I hope in the future, the watershed would be a place where uh, people can come and have relationships, restored relationships with God, with self, with others, um, and with the rest of community, um, that uh, it would be a place where people are welcome regardless of, of where they are or where they've been, um, and that it would just be a community that continues to uh, reach outward instead of inward and uh, impact League City, change League City for the better. I think the thing that we need to do the very best of anybody else is to have everyone who comes, comes in contact with a watershed in to walk away with a feeling of uh, love and of hope and feeling a part of a family. Uh, they may come in for monetary help, they may come in for groceries, they may come in for spiritual help. Uh, they may just stop and ask directions. They may just come to hunt Easter eggs. But whatever their reason for coming by here, they need to walk away with the feeling that they are a part of us and they can't wait to come back. I think the watershed's number one goal should be to impact the community. That's, that's part of our vision is to worship, deepen, and impact. And impact's a strong word. I think, I think it means a lot. It, it carries a lot of weight when you say that you're a church that actually becomes the church, that is the church, and it's not just a building um, sitting in a field somewhere, but to go out and be the church and help the community should be our number one goal. We, you know, I was told once, actually by Pastor Lance, that the church is moving from being a church of disciples, which is important, of course, but to becoming a church of apostles. To, if you think about the early church in Acts, that's what they were. They were very small at first, and we wouldn't be here today without them. But I think it's our goal and the watershed's goal to go out and be disciples and apostles of Christ and, and grow His love in our community. God's kingdom is vast, and we are but a tiny part of it. Thankfully, we serve a huge God who can take what little we have and help us do so much more overflow. overflow.